Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Jasmine and I will be your educator for today and welcome to our slide. Uh, today we are making a chicken wire frame. It's a really cheap frame I bought at Ikea and I know that you have them stateside. I know they're, you can find them all the way all across Europe. Uh, it's really inexpensive <laughs> and you can do so much fun with it. So I'm just going to flip the camera around. We are uh, having a lot of mediums to work with uh, and I'll show you the project and we'll get started. Just bear with me while I flip my camera. Okay. Huh. Thinking we are almost good here. Okay, let me just adjust the lights. And maybe we'll get to see a bit. Yeah. Okay. So this is the frame. This is what I made of the frame. It's lots of flowers, lots of rust paste that keeps falling off. And uh, yeah, flowers, all the stuff I like. Yep. So. Uh, let me just, oops, I'm gonna put that, if I can put that here, and then I'll show you how the frame looks. So this is how it looks when you buy it. Really inexpensive, uh, really nothing special about it. It's made of plastic, it comes with two, two plastic, uh, like this stand, which you just, uh, it's super easy just to put it here on the bottom, like that, snaps in place, and this comes out. So you'll have like a open frame thing. And here, these are uh, just plastic covers. So if you would have, if you wanted to have a photo in here, you will put it in between. But I'm not using those, so we'll throw that away and the plastic and the first thing I want to do with it is to sand the edges because it's really slippery and if we want the paint to, to stay on it we do need to yes Karen it's a really cool frame and it's so inexpensive I think it's a dollar I think you can get these stateside on Ikea for a dollar um, I did provide the link for the US page but I know in Norway it's it's like 10 kroner, which is almost equal to a dollar, a little bit more expensive, but yeah, a dollarish. So all you have to do now is, like I said, you need to uh, sand the edges so you get, um, so you don't, because this is really slippery and we want the paint to stick to it. So I just use piece of sandpaper to sand the edges and I'm going to sand the front and back because I don't really know which side I'm going to use until yeah until we started painting it and started figuring out what we like how we decorate it so really fast and sand all the edges <clears throat> So it's really cool so yes welcome to the new viewers thank you so much for coming yeah and i'm hoping everybody is enjoying summer like i said it's been a beautiful day here today really sunny warm weather uh which is not um, not, not that common here <laughs> here to get that great, great weather uh, my boys have been playing outside I've been, we've been out shopping, doing different stuff, so, yeah. So, uh, I, I was doing a lot of prep work, like cleaning a bit and stuff, and of course, uh, in the middle of things, my youngest squeezed his finger, and there was band-aids involved, and, and my husband, he wasn't home, he was still at work, so it was pretty chaotic before I came, before I got start 
So, yeah, I'm thinking we're good. It's just, just to make it a bit not that slippery, not that shiny. So the paint will sit more. So that's, that's the first thing done. Uh, the next thing you need is actually a piece of chicken wire. And I just asked, I don't have chickens. So I asked just uh, some of the local people here if someone had just a little bit for me. Which they, of course, had. And hello, Aisha. Hope you are good. And so this is the piece of chicken wire. Um, yeah, I just put it across like this, I think. Yeah. Like, thinking like so. And just squeeze it around. And we may need to use our scissors to get it all the way through. I didn't glue this in place. I just bent the metal wires, like the ch chicken wire, around. And try to, like, make it stay in place. But the paint will help when we start working with all the paint. It will help a lot to keep it in place. So that's why it's uh, it's important to use the to use the the sandpaper before we do this, or it's difficult to get through. So and you need a scissor. I use my Tim Holtz scissors for everything. It works fine. So you can get every you can use the back to get it to stay in place okay and okay and the top and then we are soon done by strapping the chicken wire around so Ta-da! So, of course, you can use this frame. You could, you can have those small. I actually had one of those here just a couple of minutes ago. Like this small um, clips, like those. Now I don't know where I put them. But, yeah. I was clean, cleaning, and then when I clean, I just throw everything. It was just, just small. And you can hang the photo up. Just pretty cool doesn't need to have um doesn't need to have a photo hello luciana and it doesn't need to have a photo it's just yeah and of course i used a lot of rust paste on this project and i tried the i tested the patina paste so let me just bring them here so i used the rust effect paste the, the darkest one the patinas and the brass and the whole patina set and I did use some of the the darker not that one the lighter brown this one also so uh, what you need is like a big brush and I use a really inexpensive one uh, I buy them at a local it's not a craft store they have everything like from from cutlery to chicken and no, kitchen stuff to wrapping papers to everything and they I can buy these really expensive brushes that looks like this okay so I'm going to use a paper like that because we're going to get we're going to get some stuff let me see if I have one more I may have some more paper. Apparently not. No, well, yeah, whatever. We'll just do do it. So using the darkest rust paste and uh, just dabbing it on. It's messy, but we like messy, right?
So just keep dabbing the paint on and it, it, it covers really well so you don't need to think about oh i do do i need to have an extra layer no you don't the first layer will be just fine so you have to do both sides still and the rust paste has sand in it and that's why you see all these chunks here because of the sand and it get, gives a really great texture. Uh, and every, yeah, it looks really well when it's done. So I just keep painting. Painting and be happy. I'm just going to see if I can uh, get that a little bit more around. So it will fit a bit better. Like that. It's more paint. You use a lot of paints with this. That's why it's so good to see that Prima came out with those bigger jars for this kit. So you can get all of those great colors. The brown one, the light brown one, the yellowish one, the patina set, everything in that and a bigger yeah it gives awesome coverage and a bigger set so like with this this little jar would maybe do you could do two or three projects like this because they're so big but um if you buy the bigger jar you will have yeah more more paints and you will you will need it if you do a lot of these projects and it's kind of cool it gives a kind of a steampunky look to it So, yeah, so I will just keep painting. Like Dory said, just keep swimming. I'll, I'll just say, just keep painting. Just dabbing the paint on. I had really issues finding a photo that I wanted to use for my second frame here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on. But I did choose a photo after band-aids were administered and, yeah cuddles and, and he's still i think he's tired because i hear him crying upstairs so yep so just have this just keep dabbing the paint on i could have pre-done this but you wouldn't have seen how i like if some of the steps would have been lost so i just thought we'll just get through this and we'll be fine the painting part you see you have to get in here as well so and if you paint you will get that it won't cover as much uh, i don't know if you can see that as well uh, it won't, if you dab, it will cover perfectly, but if you paint, it will just make strikes. I don't know, maybe hard to see, but you know what I mean. So, flipping it around like that. Oh, I'm getting tired in my hand now with all the dabbing. And it keeps running away from me. So, have uh, everyone seen the new, uh, uh, has everyone seen the new collections from 13 Arts? I kind of like those, so I had to order them. And uh, I think they are shipping in about three days. That's so cool. I love new stuff. I also got the new Maya Design Papers in the post today. Okay, covered. Look at that. Oh, uh, Joanne, the frame is from Ikea. Uh, it's just a really inexpensive frame. It costs you about a dollar at Ikea in the States. Uh, and it comes in, um, you, you, it's like a, it's a frame, right? So yeah, it's a cheap one, cheap frame. 
with the stand. It's plastic and utterly perfect for altering. That is a nice frame and it's and it, you can get them here as well in Norway you can get them in Sweden of course in Sweden in different places in Europe you can you don't have to you can alter it by using uh, maybe a shabby chic style doesn't have to be like a rust effect dish thing you can just it's just tons of stuff to do with it so I'm just gonna use my trusty heating tool and uh, yeah, maybe you can provide Joanne with the link, uh, Karen, so she can see the frame. So I'm just going to do some quick, quick drying, and we'll see. And of course, we have to add some more stuff. Add some more paints. So how's your summers going? Are you doing well? Is people on summer vacation, or are you home, or what you doing? I want to know. So we're, we are uh, leaving soon um, on our holiday after my husband get out, out of work next week. So this week he's working overtime. Of course, they have all tons of projects they need to get done. So that means I'm home with the kiddos. So and... Uh, doing some drying and yeah and I just wrapped some chicken wire around the frame uh, Joanne that's that's mainly what I did just and I sanded it down so the paint will stick tons of things to do with the frame I know, uh, Alina, I'm so excited for you with a new baby. That's awesome. I saw your beautiful photos. I was just so, uh, I, I love lavender. And you took your photos in the lavender field. It was just so gorgeous. So jealous. So, yeah. So I have to have some new brushes just so I can scoop some paint. And uh, so I'm have using the different colors. There's a little of the blue patina paste and some of the minty. I don't care if I mix mix and match. I don't care. They will be blended anyways. And of course, the brass paint is also gorgeous. And uh, let me just light some up. <clears throat> some blobs of paint. Okay. And my dog, of course, barks. Awesome. Don't know what she's working at. So we have, I'm using the same brush, it's just a smaller one, to, uh, on my project, and I just dab on top, just to get some more color. It's still quite wet, and I won't take it everywhere. I will maybe blend the darker one with these so you'll get more blended but I kind of like it like this just dab the different types in just to get some more variety and a little bit more bluish tone on the front see do you see what i do here it's so dark like this maybe yeah maybe you can see it yeah so since this is the front i'll be doing work on the front 
stabbing paint wherever I feel like it on top of each other on the frame on the chicken wire I do need some of more of the blue Dabbing the paint on. It's just messy, messy, but we like messy, don't we? Using a lot of paints and being quite messy. We also have to do the back. A little bit more here, I think. Then it's good for drying, and then we'll have to see what we have. Here. Okay, let me just do like this. And you'll see we'll have to have some more blues in it. It blends really well and it looks awesome. Super easy. It's really fun and a fun project to make. Really fun. Okay, I'm thinking um, I'm going to dry it a bit and I'm moving that paint away and finding myself a wet wipe. I do have those today. And uh, just doing some bit of drying. And how's the time? Well, I think we are doing good because we only have, um, we have to figure out how we're going to decorate it. So we're just going to dry it a bit. So are you excited, Alina, the new baby? I would be excited. I don't want any more kids. I have three. That's more than enough for me. But <laughs> other people getting babies is exciting. Okay. So doing the drying. If anyone have any questions, please just ask. Karen will help us out. Ooh, that's fun, Alina. A girl, when you have a boy from before, that's just awesome. We'll be the perfect little family. Awesome. Well, congratulations a lot. The new baby. A girl, that's fantastic. After three boys, I would be really excited if I got a girl. But, <laughs> well, I have more than enough with my three, three boys, so... More than enough. So. Anyone else doing anything uh, fun for summer? Do you have any questions? Or am I just talking to myself today? <laughs> so I, a fun story. I actually met Alina once. We met, the first time we met was in, in Poznan at Finnabur's retreat called ProSart. It was a really fun, um, really nice retreat, really relaxed and awesome. Got, got to meet a lot of cool Polish girls and, of course, Alina. I would love to do some sort of things like that again once. 
Okay, I'm thinking we are dry. I'm just going to get rid of some of the excess here. Let me see. Yeah. You're sort of dry. Not really, but... Yeah, maybe I have to do some more on the top here. A little bit more drying. So, of course, it's best to leave a project like this um, to dry overnight or a couple of hours. And... Um, just to set the paint more uh, but I, we don't have time for those things if I haven't prepped one from before but which I don't I just had two frames so so okay so I've used um, on top of my frame I used the vintage gold wax from Thinner Bear And, uh, oh, maybe you have to meet their one, Selena, on a 13 Arts uh, retreat. We'll have to talk about that. So we'll be there at the same time. So just use the wax on top. It smells really good. It makes your project smell so good. And then you'll see the, the um, what's it called? The, the grits or the texture in the project really well when you yeah. apply this on top and uh yeah that was Colin <laughs> he forgot I was doing this <laughs> and uh yeah just shows you oh, I wish I could get it really so you can see it do you see it Oh yeah, a little bit more just to get some texture out and some more color. Now oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Yeah, I think I saw that Linda attended last year as well. I think she travels a lot with, down there with in Poland with those girls. Okay, we're done with the wax. I am, I'm happy, it's fine. Oh. Awesome, Joanne. Eighth grandchild, that's, that's amazing. My mom, she has five grandchildren, all of them boys. So <laughs> my sister has boys. And I have boys, so she's just getting boys. Just quick mop up some of this stuff. Okay, now for the fun part. We do need to decorate our frame. So let's see if I can sit this down here so you can see. Is this okay? Yeah. Okay, so um, I found... I found a photo of Finley on his one-year birthday. I thought, oh, okay, I'll make a frame for him so he can have it in his room or something. Not sure where to, yeah. So, and I have this awesome, I think it's like a huge hinge. My friend sells these here. Um, I think you can just, if you have some screws, you can screw this on drawers and stuff, but I use them on projects. I think they are really cool. It's huge though. Like, look at it. So I'm going to, of course, put use this in the project somewhere. If it's going to be here or where it is, I don't know yet. So I found some simple stuff. I found some doilies. I found some hmm, old lace. Oh, yeah, I love that photo of Finley. He was just such a cutie. He's still such a cutie, but but that photo is so cool. Yeah, it was his one-year-old birthday. And I found some flares from Lemon Crafts. I found a frame. Not sure if 
I want this. It's kind of huge. Yeah. And I found some of these. These are uh, some from Simple Paper paper frames from Simple Stories. So maybe we'll use one of those. Yeah, we can use that one. That will be cool. And just cut the photo. And I've... I found the Santro Paint journaling note cards, and I'm gonna find some of the flowers as well. On the they these are really beautiful, beautiful designs, and on the back where back they has a beautiful uh, flower pattern pattern, and they have different love you the sea calls to me. This is awesome, and you have a different. It's just different quotes and like maps and stuff and stuff here. So let me just choose something. Maybe I'll do the map since there's maps on that one. And, and I can use the flower pattern as well. So I will use the flower pattern. Okay. And some of this old lacy thing, I think we can use just to rip it a bit like that. And these, I have to find the my favorite Prima tool, the edge scraper. I use it all the time. These are my favorite tools. And just work the edges a bit. Maybe some of the matte paper. Just to get some dimension. It's a really nice, uh, nice collection of papers. The San Tropez collection. Uh, it's uh, the newest from Frank Garcia. Um, when I first had got a hold of it, I had to buy everything, which I kind of didn't like. <laughs> but I think now you can get, get, um, just get the things you want. So yeah, I have to work a bit with my papers. I have the doily gonna rip the doily a bit use this to in place where should, should I have it here oh this will be nice so just if I when I think figure something out that I like I just use a my stapler then I don't have to figure it out where to put them ne the next time where where were they how were, how was I thinking about it I was just Use the stapler and, I, I'll, and I'll be happy. I also have some really old. I don't want to tell you how, where, what sort of paper this is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's from the Bible, I think. It's really old paper. So maybe underneath here will be cool. It's really brittle. And some more doily up here, maybe. Yeah, so I'm just going to staple it in place. Then I don't have to think about it. Like that. How cool is that? And then I have this one. I'm thinking could be about here. So I have to glue this in. And the frame. Like that on top so I'm gonna start gluing but I do need a um, piece of um, chipboard I think we may need to put something in the back to keep it in place because we only have the edge of the frame to help us and sometimes it has it's not the same height as this here so we'll just have to work with what we have 
and I figured out a really um, awesome way to keep things in place while working on this. So about there, and I found these uh -huh. uh, clothespins. They hopefully won't leave me while we're working on this. And, okay, so we have this. So we're going to glue our metal thing into place. Right in between. Don't fall off. We need some more help to keep things in place here. while we trim the photo and i need to find i need to find a lot of flowers i love flowers so we need to have the flowers i used in this piece i used uh, a lot uh, some of the photos from the central perry collection a big one behind here you which you can't really show and these ones are from last year i think Gonna put it over here and uh, yeah, keep cutting my photo. And one more side, and I'm done with the photo. And so this is here and my photo where should i have it should i have that here should i do like this <laughs> like this maybe i could do it like this <coughs> So more glue. Like that. And maybe I need a um, yeah, put it in like that. Just some glue. Like that? Oh, sorry, my dog. I don't know what's up with her. And I want I wanted to use these flares. I think these flares are awesome. And I also have penny. <laughs> sorry. Oh, and I wanted to use this. Where to put this? here I don't want to <laughs> uh, move it too much as I also found some chipboards from the Sancho Pay collection that we could use uh, not sure which ones yet but there's different types. I like the Simply Lovely, uh, I Love You, Memory, Sunshine, and this one is cool, I Love You Always, and they have some flowers here. We'll see what we use, and I want to use one of the flares. I think that will be cool, but let, let us find some flowers. Let me see, I have some flowers right here. I have a box of flowers. So this huge one was the one I've used here. It's here. So I'm going to use the same huge flower on this project. But then you need something in the back so it will, like, so you don't get glue everywhere. I'm just going to use uh, some of the paper. I 
how should I do this? I almost confused myself. It's just to get something to to hold to. Like that. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know. I'm not sure about the green leaf. Well, the other one has the green leaf, so I'll just keep it in. I have these central prey flowers and I have these cuties. I have a bunch of flowers in this bowl, so we'll use some of them. You never get too much flowers, I'll say. Tons and tons of flowers. More flowers. Or should I do the flare? <clears throat> Maybe do the flare. Oh, it just glued itself in place. All right, then it's going to be there. Awesome. Hoping everything won't move. But it's just I need some gluing time. Okay, how does this this look? So maybe I should do a flower here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh, let me see, what did I do? <laughs> Need to find some other flowers. Maybe that one. I could do that one. Just use whatever you have. I'm pretty sure that all of you have half open packages like me. And I keep them in a box like this. Most of my flowers, the unopened ones, I have in other boxes. Yes, I say boxes because there's a lot of boxes with flowers. And I have more flowers in other ones. So let's just keep working with the ones we have here. And we'll do one here. That's why it's so good to just staple them together. Then you have the possibility to just do a, a lift and just slide some flowers underneath. And a little brown one, I think. More flowers. Like that. And of course, I want this one. And I want some of the hearts here. Pretty hearts. And of course the sticker. 
love you always sticker do you recommend to put some extra glue on the back Ooh. should i do this one yeah i'll do that one as well Awesome. What else do we want? I was talking about some of the hearts. But I kind of, I do have a heart though. I could do some more flowers. Maybe I should do a flower down here in the stand. Or should I do some up here? Like that. And I have one of these small ones. Do you have more of those? I didn't use them all. Yeah, well, there was, there's one more. I want more flowers. Let me do. What do I have in this box? Where's my sisters now? Peel off the green stuff. If you don't like it. Oops. Like that. Maybe I don't like that. Okay, what more do we want? I have some gray ones. Will that work? Or should it be white ones? Do I have white ones? I see that I have darker gray ones. And a, I have these blue, but there was the, that was just the wrong blue. Maybe one of these babies, or is it too big? It's too big. Doesn't really work. And now I don't like the green leaf because I didn't cover it. Oh well, it's gonna stay there now. No, maybe remove it later. Okay. So the next thing is I have. Moving a bit so I get some more room. I have this. This is from an old collection. It's uh, some borders Finna Bear did. So I'm just gonna break it. I think we could. Squeeze one in here. Put some of the 
practice things. Let me see if I can. Like that, and then. Yes, like that. And of course, I have more. I'll put one here, I think. And I'm going to have one more. Down here. And hopefully it will stay in place. Maybe I'll have to turn that around. Maybe I don't like it. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne. I just try it. And if it doesn't work, I just move it. It's like that. I didn't like it. So now we're moving it. But now the glue is very wet, so it's difficult to make everything stay the way you want. Okay, so now I'm going to use some of my, some of the micas. Where's my mica? I use, well, it's not my, yeah, mica plates, not a henna. I used gold mica plates. Yeah, the gold ones. And I've used some copper micro beads. Copper. And I used the ooh, soft matte gel. So now I just paint randomly on um, where I think it will look good with micro mica powder and uh, mica flakes and uh, micro beads. And this dries clear, so if I mess up, that's fine. And it's matte, so it won't really mess up anything. It's not, not that easy to see like that. Adding some of the flakes on here and there, everywhere. I think they will be fine. Like that to concentrate, not messing this up. Oh. 
the dog again. So some micro beads. I just sprinkle it like you would just this is the best tip I have for the micro beads. You could pour it on and have a tray and put it back and of course you can do that. But the easiest thing is just to sprinkle it on like you're putting salt on your food. You're just not going to put too much. You just want little. You just want some. Some small. Okay. Thinking I'm done. Of course, you can highlight the flowers. But now it's so messy here that you can't really see anything. Can you? Oh, that was for this. Give me a second now clean up a bit and then I'll show you everything but now this is how I work it's like stuff everywhere so usually I try to keep everything tidy so you can see but now today I've just forgot myself a bit let me just brush everything away all right, guys, so this is it. This is today's frame. We are done. And one minute to spare. I mean, it's just amazing how things work out, right? This is it. So I'll flip the camera around and chat a bit to you. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so thank you, thank you so much for coming today. Uh, I hope you like our project. We'll of course upload this to YouTube so everyone can see. And I hope you have an awesome summer. And next week, who's up next week? I'll have to check that out because I don't remember. Um, maybe it's Miranda. Maybe it was Miranda Edney. I think so. I think it's Miranda Edney next week. And you don't want to miss Miranda Edney's show. She makes awesome, awesome stuff. Um, so be sure to be here when she makes stuff. I'm not sure if I can make it. I'll be going on my holiday. Um, I'm just going to double check if it's Miranda. So I don't. So maybe she switched and it's not her. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's Miranda, and she makes awesome stuff, so you're up for a treat. So thank you so much for coming and taking some time off your summer to be with me today. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all uh, in August. I'll be back in August. All right. Bye-bye.